to have Donald Trump at the top of the ticket? If, in fact, uh, Donald Trump is our nominee, and I, it does look like he will be, I absolutely will, will support him. I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, the, uh, Donald Trump has got rather unconventional supporters in some areas, and in fact, people that may not have voted uh, with great regularity. So I think this is a wonderful opportunity for us to reach out to even more Iowans who I think will be interested in, in what we're doing, and I, I think it's going to be a fun, good ses uh, election cycle. But he, he has sort of an anti-establishment message. Might incumbents be in jeopardy? You know, I think the difference between incumbents on a national level and those on a local level is that each of them are, just as the senator said, knocking doors, uh, regularly meeting with them, listening to Iowans. It's a little bit different. We're, uh, we're pretty well known in our districts, and so I think it's a little bit different. Are you worried that voters are not only angry at Washington, D.C., but they're angry at Des Moines, too, Senator Grunstall? I, I, think, I think there's certainly a level of voters that are angry in general, and I think uh, both, um, both Republicans and Democrats deal with that. You say you're out uh, knocking on doors. What, what are you hearing? Are people I, responding I, to you and saying, hey, you've served long enough? I Actually, I haven't had that said once to me, uh, and I've... Uh, I've, last fall, I knocked on about 3,000 doors. I've knocked on four or 500 this year so far uh, on the weekends while we were in legislative session and such. But um, I, I don't get that very often. People, um, people are generally positive that you've bo bothered to take the time to stand at their door.